Okay. So I'll, I'll try to keep this as short and quick as possible. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the uh, process of what I'm going to uh, I'm going to go through to get uh, the uh, D21 transmission mated to the uh, 350 engine. Um, and I want you to know this is nothing that I developed or made up or invented or anything like that. This is actually a process that's been done before. It's just never been done with the uh, with what we're trying to do, which is get the uh, keep everything as stock as possible so that this as little fabrication on our part like especially underneath you know with uh, welding and cutting uh, drive shafts and new motor mounts and stuff like that like pertaining to uh, the transmission uh, which would you we would have to do if, if we were sticking a different transmission onto this onto the 350 so uh, again this has been done but it's it's done, uh, I've seen it on YouTube, uh, like companies make, do this process with, uh, with other transmissions. And it's a shame that it's not done with this. You, you at, would, typically, you got to do, do it yourself or go to a machinist that will fabricate it for you. So this is what we're going to do. You see this plate that's uh, not only covering these uh, bearings is pro it's a protect protection for them but it's also a guide for the uh, input shaft you know to keep it from wobbling this is what we're actually going to use uh, as a template to you know take it to a machinist and make a, a adapter plate this is going to be the rear adapter plate which would um, is actually going to different no different than uh, mating this one to the bell housing uh, what I'm going to do is I would have to cut the bell housing all the way through until what's left is even is even or flush with uh, with this uh, back plate I guess and then the adapter plate you know, just imagine this is the adapter plate Except it's covering that entire area that's now this empty space. It would be covering the entire area. Uh, and I'm going to actually take the bell housing as well so that the machinist can use it as a template as well. Again, I, I want to keep be able to keep everything as, as, uh, as uh, stock as possible. So, in order to be able to use, you know, the, the arm, you know, it's, I would have to have, um, have them fabricate a new bell housing, which really is not that much, you know, it's not a lot of, it's not a big distance, or it's not a lot of material, so it's not like it's a lot, uh, or something difficult. But from here down to that cut that we made, or we would make here, from here down everything would be the same diameter. But from here up is this is uh, from the base of the engine from here to uh, probably right here. Um, uh, the not not the edge of the of the pressure plate, but right here, because all this is is the widest area that would never never get past. It would it would hit the outer rim of of the of this transmission. But that that distance is something like two and a half three inches. So. On the new, on the new one, sorry, let me get on this side, from here to that, would, that would be the only difference, I would have to have that, um, wider to accommodate, uh, the wideness or the diameter of the pressure plate and the flywheel. I also got, um, uh, foam. 
that I have to cut and uh, glue together. And I'm going to actually use that for this portion. Or what would be considered this portion of uh, the bell housing. That needs to go wider. But I'm going to use uh, the foam to cut and measure and fabricate that area of the bell housing. It just that has that it's wide enough and curves to sorry I'm like too close the camera's too close but it would have to have just the right clearance so that the new um, portion of the bell housing can cover that and just pop into place and uh, so it was, again it's just a little bit of measuring that I would have to do and all that but hands down like literally that is the easiest way to uh, to get the stock uh, D21 transmission onto uh, the 350 easiest and simplest way to do it uh, and again this, this is not something that I invented or thought up of uh, it just occurred to me that that was uh, once I it dawned on me like holy crap that's literally the way the easiest way to do it so, and it's kind of like a, a little bit of a motivational thing, you know, once you realize oh, how to, how to the, the work around to something, uh, you know, makes you, you know, me personally, now I'm even more motivated to, you know, get this done. That, that's like, that's one huge obstacle out of the way, you know, once you realize how, how to do something, you know, it's like the, the hard part is over, you know. So I just wanted to share that little bit of info uh, that uh, uh, always try to look at every possible option and angle that you can think of to to a particular thing. And in, in our case, it's getting the the again the stock uh, D twenty one transmission made it to uh, uh, the three fifty. So. You know, I just wanted to, again, share that, and uh, uh, that makes me even more excited to get this done. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that, and uh, I will see you.